my name is Georgia and today I'm going to teach you how to create your own GIF using just your computer. The first thing we need to do is find the font we like. I use dafont.com because there's heaps of different fonts. Take a look at all the different styles until you find one that you like. You can even use the preview function so that you can see how your word or your phrase will look. I'm going to use my name but you can write whatever you'd like. Once you've found a font you like, you'll need to install it. Before you do this, make sure all your Microsoft programs are closed, like Word or PowerPoint. This will help your font to download and install a little bit easier. Click download next to your chosen font. Once it's downloaded, it's time to install it. Click on the download button at the top of your internet page. Double click your font and then click install. Once it's installed, it'll show up on a list that looks like this. The next step is to open up PowerPoint and choose a new blank document. Then you get to type in the word or phrase that you want your gift to say. This is called a graphic. You can change the font to the one you've just downloaded. Now it's time to get creative. You can change the size, the colour, or the shape of your graphic. My GIF is going to be my name changing colours. So once I've got the shape I want, I'm only going to change the colour of my graphic. I need to save this graphic as a picture. I right click my picture and choose save picture as. I'd saved yours onto your desktop so it's easy to find. I'm going to change the name to Georgia1 because it's the first graphic I've saved. It's now time to create my second graphic. I'm going to change the colour of mine but you could change the size or position if you wanted to do that. I'm going to save this one the same way. I right click my picture and choose save picture as. Again, save it to your desktop. And I'm going to change the name to Georgia 2 because it's the second graphic I've saved. Then it's time to repeat this process a few more times until I've got all the colours I want to include in my GIF. to my desktop. To make my GIF come to life I need to go to a website called gifmaker.me. Click upload images and choose the graphics that you've made. I've saved all mine to my desktop so I just need to select all of the graphics Georgia 1 all the way to Georgia 5. Once they've uploaded, we get to change the speed of the GIF. I want mine to flash between the colours a bit faster, so I'm going to speed it up by making this number smaller. Take a look at the preview screen and make sure you like what you see. Then we're going to click Create GIF Animation and then View the GIF. My new GIF is made, I just need to save it now. In the new tab that opens, right click on your new GIF and choose save image as. We want to save it to my desktop again so it's somewhere easy to find. It's now done. Now let's use it. 
open up PowerPoint again and insert your new GIF. Start the slideshow and you can see your GIF in action. So to recap, the steps to make a GIF. Number one, you want to download a font you like from thefont.com. Make sure all your Microsoft programs are closed and install your font. The second step is to open up PowerPoint and create your still graphic. Save as picture each time you change your graphic and you can change the colour, size and position of your graphic. Your last step is to open up gifmaker.me and upload your still graphic. You can change the speed and then download the GIF. Well done! You created a GIF! Thanks for watching!